What's going on guys? Welcome back. So right now as we speak, I am probably somewhere between Indiana on my way back to New Jersey. We just took a quick trip out to Indiana to pick up the latest addition to the fleet. Yes, we are getting something else. So make sure tomorrow, whatever you do, stay tuned for tomorrow's video because we have a big, big surprise coming. Don't miss out. So today we're doing something just a little bit different. You guys know normally my videos are a kind of sort of a day in the life working on the trucks, working on all the projects. Uh, today is something just a little bit different. Seeing that we're leaving for this trip in a couple hours here and we don't really have a full day to devote on working on the trucks today, I figured today would be a perfect time to kind of go over a very specific product new to the diesel industry. You guys know that I love the diesel industry um, when there's new products that come out. If I think that they're worth mentioning to you guys and maybe could help you guys as well as help some of the situations that we got going on here, you know, I want to mention it to you. I want to bring it to you. Uh, this is not a tutorial. This is not a how-to. I'm not going to hit you with the bullet points of every single little detail on how to do all this stuff. I'm really just going to give you my thoughts, my opinions, and, and why I think it's cool. So that's really Really what today is going to be about. We're going to go over something um, and I feel like it really ties in well with some of the problems that we've been having with the 05, with some of the turbo stuff, with some of the boost issues, uh, things like that. So I feel like this can really, really help me and I think it can really, really help you guys. So what we're talking about today is Banks' new iDash. Now we're going to take a look at this in the 08. I have it hooked up real quick. Um, we really just have a suction cup mount with it plugged into our OBD2 port. So we're going to hop in here and take a look at this. And I'm actually going to show you guys why I actually think it's pretty cool and not just your normal average gauge. At this point, I know what your first thought is. I know you are already thinking in your mind is Greg, if it plugs into the OBD2 port, it's probably just reading what the computer can read and that's it. Trust me, you guys would be very, very foolish to think that this thing just does like that. If it just did that, there's no reason for me to talk about it any further, but it does not just do that. So uh, it reads tons more, tons more, and has, anyway, we're gonna get into that. So the first thing, the first thing that I like about this thing is the fact that this is the, o, this is this is the 08, not the 18, this is this is the 08. So the Banks iDash is the same gauge size as all of your normal gauges. I think they're like two and a 16th, I believe, is your normal gauge size. So it can actually plug into any style of factory mounting. We just have the suction cup in that truck right now, but it can plug into anything, you know, like in the 05 where the gauges are down here. It can plug into any of those. On top of that, it can read five parameters, five parameters, and with a separate harness, you guys can daisy chain them together. So technically, if you had like two or three of these things, you can read 10, 15 parameters. We are inside the truck now, got this thing fired up, uh, got the gauge fired up here so we can take a look at this thing. Like I said, you can monitor up to five different parameters with this thing. You can change the layout, you can change how it reads everything, um, and you can monitor up to five at a time. And again, it can be daisy changed if you had two or three of these things. By the way, guys, this is not just for uh, a Cummins application. This is for uh, pretty much cars and trucks. Uh, this thing is a mini laptop. Not only does it read all of the parameters that your factory truck or car can read, uh, Banks is working on, and it's gonna be coming out very, very soon, uh, an expansion pack module that reads all different external types of pressures um, and temperatures and all sorts of crazy stuff. Like if your turbo has a speed sensor port, you can plug that right in, which we're gonna get into. I just want to mention that right off the bat. So this thing, uh, not only is it going to read what your computer can read, all of those external parameters that we want to monitor as well, like uh, total boost, secondary boost, if you have compounds, stuff like that. Uh, so let's really jump into this thing and, and show you guys why I think this thing is cooler than your normal average gauge and how this is really going to change the way gauges are done here. So let's go to the main menu here and go down the list here. So like I said, gauge selection, uh, let's go over, take a look at this. Uh, you can change the layout, all of the parameters. Again, we don't have the expansion pack uh, and plugged in to read all of the cool, fun stuff, uh, but this is all stuff that is important as well. So let's go back. Uh, and next, this is this is what is gotten, getting me really, really excited about this. Um, I can really see this being put to use in a lot of the uh, more track, uh, dyno, sled pulling, stuff like that, uh, is the data logging part of it. So in a truck, say, say a truck like this or like the 05 if it was sitting over there, am I really going to go out and spend a ton and ton and ton of money on a professional data logging system? The, the answer is really no. Now, this Banks iDash with that expansion pack, let's go into this real quick. We can start doing data logging. So 
all of the peak boost, uh, you know, all of the recording. So we, we, we spend the time to data log for our tuner and send him all of that tune stuff, but he doesn't have all of the external sensors like fuel pressure. Uh, EG, if he could lay out, say, fuel pressure boost numbers, drive pressure numbers, lay that out with the map of it making its run, that would be the total package. And that is why this stuff is so cool. So this thing can do all of the data logging at a really, really high frame rate. So this Banks iDash comes with, let me see if I can plug this thing in correctly here, if I can do it right. It comes with this SD card. Yep, there we go, the SD card, um, which will you know record tons and tons of data at a crazy high frame rate. Um, so I, again, I'm not gonna go through all of this stuff uh, specifically. Uh, it's gonna eat up way too much time, but the fact that it can data log all of those parameters and we can see that. So let's just say when I blew up the first turbo, like what was the, you know, the max boost? What was the boost doing uh, throughout the whole entire run? We, we would be able to see all of that. Let's go back here. Oh, we are back, whoops. All right, so diagnostic. So uh, also check engine light comes on. Uh, you want to be able to read that on the fly. You don't need to go grab your scanner. This thing does this as well. So again, not something that something else doesn't do, but the fact that this is all cram packed into this one gauge uh, is awesome. So any type of check engine lights, diagnostic, it can also be done right here. So with your gauges, so how many times have you seen us gone down the track and like, oh, what are our EGTs? Do you know what your EGTs are? Stuff like that. Not only uh, can we data log that, but we can set alerts for all of that stuff as well. So if our EGTs are getting too high or if our uh, you know, something is getting too low or too high, we can set alerts for those things as well. So next down on the list is a min max log. So let's just say for instance, man, I just made a pull or something. I wonder what the lowest fuel pressure or the highest fuel pressure, something of that was. We'll be able to go in there and just quickly take a look at the min max log. So, you know, you guys know that how I'm looking at my boost and my drive pressure gauge in my 05 right now is a GoPro flipped upside down because we have tinted windows windows, it reads like absolute crap. I cannot see it barely at all because it's so dark in here when we have our windows up. So really, this thing is, is really going to start changing all that stuff. So again, say you have a full manual valve body and you're racing down the track. Shift light. This thing will actually light up uh, a whole different color when it's reading RPM um you know and and be super super help super super helpful um let's go down the list here this b bus modules i believe those are the like external sensor packs i'm not quite exactly sure let's go let's pop into here yeah i don't think yeah, it doesn't detect them because they're not there yet but that would be uh the other stuff that i was talking about here so let's go down a little bit more here settings this is probably just you know the brightness graph layout stuff like that uh, it can correct your tire size uh, final drive correction another thing that's cool about this data logging feature here uh, you can actually play it back right on the gauge you don't actually have to take now you can take this sd card out plug it into your laptop and do a whole graph layout kind of like how you would see an efi live table laid out um, and kind of see everything stacked on top of each other in kind of like a graph form uh, but you can actually select what you're data logging and play that back right on the gauge uh, right after you're done with the pass and I can't tell you even this past weekend I'm looking at boost and drive numbers first thing that I did when I got back was unhook my GoPro try to flip my GoPro upside down and try to play back the run versus being able to do that right through here now oh man it's just it it's got it's got it's got me excited I'm not gonna lie because information and knowledge that is how you're going to improve your truck all right so we had to hop out of the truck for a quick second i couldn't sit in there any longer so the other really insanely cool thing that banks has engineered and put into the i dash is the ability to read air density now um air density can get kind of crazy all over the place air density is basically the reading of air quality you know the denser the air the better uh the more molecule little air molecules you can slam into your engine uh the better performance it's going to have so this i dash has the ability to read a whole bunch of air density readings now what does that mean for you guys so uh really your intake setup your intercooler setup you guys know that banks is huge on airflow now boost numbers boost numbers can be all 
all over the place depending on the day. Uh, air density readings, which kind of takes like the temperature or the pressure, um, and that all communicates with the eye dash. That's how it kind of all it all it all just kind of talks together. Is I guess the basic the way that I can kind of tell you guys. So. Um, it can read all of that and can give you a really good idea of what your truck is doing on that specific day um, and whether your, say, your intake setup is working correctly. What, you know, you're changing turbos, you're changing stuff uh, all the time on your trucks. So you can take a look at that air density. Um, and, and this iDash is constantly ever evolving. And that's the other reason why this thing can be updated. If they have uh, something else that they have come up with, a new reading that they can, you know, monitor, stuff like that, that, that gauge can be updated through your computer. Like I said, it's th this thing is like a mini laptop stuck in a little gauge like that. But the air density thing is huge. It's going to be able to, uh, especially for car guys, for truck guys, for anybody, you're going to be able to fine tune your setup with a lot of that air density stuff uh, on your truck. And it is just, it is insanely cool uh, with all of the factory sensors that they put on these things that we can get all of them to communicate. We can take a look at air readings uh, on how well each and individual things are kind of working together and and how your truck is running like i said guys i'm not trying to smack you in the face with a science book on all of the uh, air density stuff it is really really cool i'm going to link some videos below especially more in-depth videos on the i dash with gail uh, with a couple other guys going through it uh very very vigorously um and give you guys the complete complete rundown but i'm, I'm pretty pumped for this thing now this thing right now is only for i believe uh like can bus system stuff uh, which is like 07 and up, maybe 08 and newer. Um, I'm pretty sure like on the car side, on the truck side, like kind of like 06, 07 and up now. They are working on a version that should work with lower years, which we will definitely, definitely be using in say the 05. Uh, I'm gonna stick one in this thing. Um, with the sensor expandable pack that they are coming out with, we're gonna be able to read everything. Um, you know, this, this gauge setup, in here is great, don't get me wrong, but the fact that you can put everything in one, um, this thing this thing looks cooler than it functions, because let me tell you, when you make left-hand turns around a, around a corner, uh, you're definitely trying to look around this. So if we could actually get one or two gauges to monitor everything, that would be ideal. Not to mention all of the other stuff that that thing does. Like you're like you're kidding me, right? Like the the I, I'm 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 super pumped about the uh, data logging stuff in this thing. It is just it is going to be awesome. Like I said, guys, I don't want to ramble about this gauge for about like 20 minutes like I probably could. We probably just scratched the surface of what this thing is capable of. We're going to revisit some of that air density stuff when we start throwing some parts on the dually, uh, but I'm pretty pumped and excited for this gauge on what it's going to allow us to do on a lot of different levels in such a small package. Look at this. I'm trying to close out a video here, talk to you guys, and we got, we got, look at this thing. Who do we, who else do we know that tows a little trailer like that? Usually it's a diesel minivan. What is, what is this? Russell, I'm trying to film a video here. Everybody's favorite Ford owner. Now My just got- My broke down, so I had to buy this to go to South Carolina next week. You know, I think you actually just got a little bit cooler in my opinion. I didn't think that was even possible. So, so, so the excursion's down. So the excursion cracked an injector cup four days before I have to leave for South Carolina. So I went to the Ford dealer and picked this up in an emergency. Last minute bad decisions. It's oh. like drug habits. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Black, black interior, sunroof. Lariat Ultimate or something. I don't know. It's got air conditioned seats, Greg. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Russell was literally, uh, me and Russell obviously talk. He was going to buy an F-150. Well, somebody else wanted you to buy an F-150. And I told him that I would text him every single day and ask if he, if he traded in his man card uh, if he would have bought that. But look at this thing. Not bad for a Ford, right? Is, are these chrome? Yeah, what? somebody put that on there. Okay. This is used. It's a 15. So, right, got to get rid of that stuff. So you you got to you got to you got to ungrandpa it basically. The funny thing is, this has the same towing capacity as your big dually. <laughs> get out of here! Get out of here! Not quite. But. Get out of here! Oh, <laughs> Russell mod number one. Car seats. <laughs> <laughs> so you're leaving you're leaving in a couple days, and your 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 fur decided to break down, so you had to go buy this. 
I have uh, fuel in my coolant, so I can't go too far in that situation. Well, I mean, how's the upgrade though? I mean, are you loving every second of it? This is uh, pretty powerful. 900 foot-pounds factory. I don't even make that with the excursion with all the junk that's <laughs> added to it. And I can hear myself think when I hit the gas pedal. Your, your first, your first, your first My tow. My first oil pickup. Your, it's for the oil that you don't need anymore. Think I can put print oil in this one too? <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Russell. Oh boy. Oh boy. Bye, Russell. That's pretty much gonna wrap up this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the Banks iDash. I, hopefully I can answer some questions in the comments down below for you guys. Again, there's gonna be some videos in the description. Go check them out. They get into in-depth, better, much better, much better explanations of a lot of those cool parameters uh, that you can read through that stuff. Um, we're gonna go inside, sleep for a couple hours, wake back up and head to Indiana here. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys tomorrow. Do not miss tomorrow's video. I'll see you guys. See you.